running Never did much good Hiding Doesn't last forever You can't run faster when it's you You're running from So you throw your hands up like doves To the setting sun Somewhere down the stars are falling Like jewels upon a thin black veil You'll find the mysteries enthralling Five seconds seems like Five billion years Ten thousand galaxies away Yet still so near Welcome to Karen Holton's podcast. Karen permanently lost 178 pounds and found happiness and success by following her own advice. She has now developed that advice into the quantum health transformation. Heal, evolve, and thrive. Karen's website offers a free webinar workshop series, and you'll also find tools, methods, and practices to assist you to become the change you want to see in the world. She believes that we are all connected. Heal the planet by healing yourself. Connect with Karen at her website, KarenHoltonHealthCoach.com, and through Facebook at Facebook.com slash Quantum Health Transformation. Now for the podcast. Welcome to Quantum Health Transformation 2.0, Step 7, Orange, Developing New Core Belief Systems and Male-Female Integration with Transgender Identity. Welcome. Please note, this primer is meant to accompany the corresponding live recorded video. Both primer and live Quantum Health Transformation 2.0 videos will be presented in descending number order. Start your learning process with Step 9, then proceed to Step 8 and so forth. Learn Step 1 last. This will help you to bypass some of your linear programming. All information presented in any Quantum Health Transformation media is taken from the Living Library, also known as the Akashic Records, and from my personal life experience and training. I'm not an expert, a mathematician, or a scientist. I'm a seeker of knowledge and wisdom. This system of Quantum Health Transformation works very well for me. However, you must synthesize this information and take only that which serves you. At the very least, it is my hope that you will be stimulated to seek your own inner wisdom. Please note, any part of the Quantum Health Transformation original or 2.0 series can be copied and shared under the Fair Use Clause, as long as credit is given to myself, Karen Holton, my company, Vancouver Island Alternative Lifestyle Services, or VIALS, and Quantum Health Transformation. Thank you. For legal reasons, I have included this disclaimer. Please read it before you continue. In Step 8, I suggested ways to give birth to new core belief systems. If you have not already done so, watch Quantum Health Transformation 2.0 Step 8 Red, Grounding and Birth of Core Belief Systems, Primer and Live Videos, first before you watch this video. Once you have considered this information and have done the recommended exercises, you will be well on your way to loving yourself unconditionally. You are now ready to further develop your new core belief systems. Make use of daily reminder emails like Mike Dooley's Messages from the Universe and quotes from Abraham Hicks or one of the many other inspiring people or groups who are here to assist. These sources will provide plenty of inspiration to help you to become that which you desire, a more healthful and happy being. Since the 1990s, we have been inundated with postmodern thought which tears down obsolete and destructive ways of thinking. 
This gave rise to a very critical analysis of society called deconstructionism. Although it had its place, the flaw in this type of analysis is that it is anti-productive to positive creativity and growth. One can spend so much time going down one rabbit hole of analysis after another that the joy of being creative beings is soon forgotten and lost. This leads to much unhappiness. Once we shift from what's wrong with the world and focus on what is healthy, everything changes. Things are what they are. The nubby ball tool will help you to see that there is a brighter side to it all. At first, it may take some discipline, but you will get good at finding a grateful place in your mind and in your heart. Now you are ready to get on with creating a whole new way of being. Change yourself and you change the world. It's time for a new peaceful era. Keep dreaming. Desire peace and harmony. Learn to mind your own business. Focus on yourself. Turn your negative attributes into positive ones. Challenge yourself. Discover your inner guru who will not police your every thought, intention, and action, but will lovingly guide you and reveal your own attitudes that may be holding you back. Become your own compassionate observer. Be patient with yourself. Frequently reward your successes. We must unlearn what we have learned. The only thing limiting us in life is our belief that there are limits. Now it is time to consider male-female integration techniques Similar to light shadow work, male-female integration gives you more awareness and power to achieve your goals. This will not change who you are, as both genders exist within us, whether we realize it or not. Keep your prefer preferred gender flair, if you like. Androgyny is not the goal here. Start by writing down two lists. One list with the attributes you consider to be female, and the other for those traits that you would consider to be male. You will find positive and negative things on your list because everything casts a shadow. Select the attributes from your lists, from both lists, which you wish to strengthen, and choose to let go of the ones that no longer serve you. This is your life, and only you can decide how to be. Incorporate the desired traits into your affirmation and visualization program, and soon you will see the benefits of integrating male-female ways of being. Female energy governs the left side of the body, and male energy governs the right. Do your own research. Female and male energy is called yin and yang. Although the yin-yang symbol appears to be binary, it is actually spinning fast enough to blend both sides into one. A balance is vital for health, as recognized for centuries by many Asian cultures. Find your balance energetically and mentally to increase your personal power. The truth is, all humans are one species, one race, and are gender neutral at conception. Only when specific hormones are made available, or not available, in utero, are the external or internal genitalia determined, which we designate as male and female. When specific hormones are over or under supplied, a person with XX chromosomes could have external genitalia, and someone else with XY chromosomes could have internal genitalia. While genitalia are necessary, it has little bearing on your personality, character, thinking, or way of being. 
It might surprise you to know that most of what we describe as typically male or female behavior and ability is culturally conditioned and is often dictated by the fancy of the ruling class. When we realize that our socialization is no longer of benefit to us, it begins to disintegrate, revealing our true nature and our authentic selves. We soon realize we are part of a gender continuum and have both male and female qualities. If we feel at our best with one or the other extreme of gender designation, often thought of as male or female, and this matches our genitalia, then we are located at one of the two poles on a gender nubby ball. The midpoint, or equator, would represent androgyny. As you have learned from Step 9, all things can be analyzed as a nubby ball. There are infinite possibilities of where our authentic selves and gender identity may be located on the nubby ball. Most of us fall somewhere between the two poles of extreme. Realizing this gives us enormous freedom to express as the unique individuals we truly are and not as a gender stereotype. Dictionary definition, transgender, adjective. Transgender is a catch-all term used to describe people who do not fit the strict polar dichotomy of male and female. This designation includes so many different ways of being that it is beyond the scope of this lesson to get into all of it. Do some research if this topic interests you. There's plenty of information out there regarding gender diversity. Are you aware that many common things affect the location of our genitalia and gender preference? Prenatal exposure to androgens, which are found in pesticides and insecticides. Toxins, which are found in cleaning products and solvents and other contaminants, like those found in all pharmaceutical man-made medications, pills, things you would get from the pharmacy, and inadequate nutrition are only some of the contributing factors. As a result, babies are sometimes born with ambiguous genitalia, estimated one in every 200 births. It is still the standard medical practice to surgically turn all intersex babies into females. This often results in gender confusion and gender dysphoria later on. Those on the gender continuum who wish to alter or disguise the appearance of their primary and secondary sex characteristics along with behavior, either temporarily or permanently, are transsexual. Transsexual lifestyles may include cross-dresser, drag queen and drag king, transvestite, and even fetish. A transsexual person who wishes to permanently change gender is commonly called F2M, female to male, or M2F, male to female. Usually, behavior modification and gender resocialization is required before gender assignment surgery is possible. It is interesting to note that being gay, lesbian, or bisexual has nothing to do with gender identity. This is a whole different discussion regarding ways of loving and erotic desire. I personally know trans women who partner with men and others who partner with women. The same is true for trans men. Some people self-identify as pansexual or pangender. There is plenty of information easily available for those who might want to know more about gender and or sexuality. Once you consider male-female integration techniques, you can expand your awareness of who you really are, cast off the gender stereotypes, and access your full potential. Now you can create your own unique gender preferences. Mix it up a bit until you find that which fits you 
and feel free to change this as you evolve. Now, if we choose to, we can more fully develop the divine feminine and divine masculine found within. This adds to the balance of creation. Knowledge is power, and personal knowledge is personal power. Be all that you desire to be, and on your own terms. Break the chains that bind you. You have the power. It's you. It's always been you. Feel free to drop by my website and watch the other videos that go with this information. HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.karenholtonhealthcoach.com That's K-A-R-E-N-H-O-L-T-O-N healthcoach.com backslash videos backslash step dash seven backslash. This concludes the step seven primer. Please feel free to contact me for more information and for assistance with your integration program. I am grateful for all the forces and beings that assist me with the production of this nine-step online course. This online course is free. If you would like to support my work, please purchase some of my beautiful Zen Domes Organite. I am grateful to my universal spiritual community. I am grateful for my brother James Tracy, who made the first Zen Domes Organite. You can find James and the other amazing work that he does at www.jamestracy.com. That's J-A-M-E-S-T-R-A-C-Y dot com. Please join me for Quantum Health Transformation, Step 6, Yellow, Detoxification and the Power of Emotion. That's the next video coming up soon. If you wish to contact me, please do so at www.karenholtonhealthcoach.com. Again, that's K-A-R-E-N-H-O-L-T-O-N, healthcoach.com. Or you could email me at files at shaw.ca. Still so near 